Hey everyone. All right, so this video is basically just gonna be explaining the whole debate that was planned for yesterday that basically ended up not happening and then turning into a fucking complete shit show. So, essentially on Tuesday earlier this week, I, I, everyone was basically bombed with a message from Stetson from his personal Facebook page. Not the same sock account that he's been using for, like, the last few days, but, like, his actual Stetson Hardwick for President page on Facebook. Apparently, he didn't only... He, I, he sent me a message. He even sent Ranter and Shades a message, I believe, and he sent, like, a, a few other people messages and stuff. He sent me a message. It was his usual diatribe, and I just said, you know what, dude? If I'm so wrong, why don't you debate me? And he said, fine. And so I asked him for a time, and he said, Friday. So I assumed, with seeing that, that this was actually going to happen, that we were actually going to have a verbal debate, you know, a basically a sequel, if you will, to mine and Gage's debate with Stetson. So I wrote, you know, I had questions written out, you know, I know that Gage and Cass, uh, Cass Warfox and Atticus the Death Metal were also going to take part in. Atticus was more going to sit in and just watch the shit show go down. He was going to serve as a sort of pseudo-moderator at points, but mostly he was just going to sit in and, and just watch and maybe chime in every once in a while. But I know that Cass Warfox had questions, Gage the Doom Guy had questions, I had my own list of questions prepared. I was also going to ask a few questions on Jennifer Ranella's behalf. Because for some reason, Stetson seems to think that he's the gatekeeper of what a trans person should and shouldn't be. But eh, I'm not going to get too much into that. But basically, we had all this shit prepared. You know, I had a planned format. Like, I had a way that I wanted to format the debate, how I wanted it to go. I was going to be really fair to Stetson. I was, gonna, I, was, I was doing everything I could to accommodate him. And I was, I was, up to this point, I was trying to be really civil with him, which was really fucking hard to do. Given the fact that he went after Jennifer's fucking family during all this, which really made me want to snap on him. But I was trying so hard to accommodate him, to be civil with him. And so, of course, when we actually get into the Skype call, when me, myself, Gage, Cass, and Atticus get into the Skype call, of course, he doesn't fucking show up because either his Skype account that he used with me and Gage's debate, his first debate, uh, wasn't active anymore, or he didn't use it anymore, or if we had another Skype account. So, we get in contact with his sock account on Facebook. He says he doesn't have a fucking webcam. Then he says he doesn't have a working mic. So then we try to get him to a call on Messenger. So after all that bullshit, which was, at this point, I think it, it, at, at this point, we were hitting damn near the hour mark of how long we'd been sitting there waiting for him to come in. And then after all that, he eventually says, basically, essentially he says, oh, just, just text message your questions. I don't want to do a verbal debate. I just just send me your messages through text. Are you fucking kidding me? After all that fucking bullshit, after us after after waiting for you to get into the fucking Skype call, after giving me a fucking date, you're going to fucking do that shit? Dude, fuck you, Stetson. Seriously, fuck you for wasting my fucking time. Seriously, that fucking pisses me the fuck off. You know, and I felt, you know, not only was it what not only was it a fucking waste of my time, it was a fucking waste of everyone else's time. And I know, I know that you know, Cass and Atticus and everyone else was able to make something fun out of it. And eventually we got into that group chat on Messenger with Damien and, and Jennifer in the mix. And that was fun too, but even still, I was I was planning, I had questions written out, I had planned for a verbal debate and that didn't happen. Stetson bitched out and wouldn't do it. So, that really, really ticked me off. Like, you don't even have the fucking consideration, Stetson, to actually just get into the, into the debate and defend and substantiate your most recent claims. I was going to ask you about censorship, about narrow-mindedness, since, since you seem to be really hard on, on that topic, and I was going to ask you about several other things. I wasn't even going to really debate the pedophilia thing that much since me and Gage pretty much debated that for hours in the last debate. You know, maybe Gage would have had some questions about that or Cass, but... And I know G uh, Gage had questions about your, your claims that he's a racist, but you didn't want to do any of that. And I find it funny that, you're, that, you, that this whole presidential campaign, which I'm, I'm convinced is just a delusion of your mind, but 
this presidential campaign, like you realize that presidential nominees actually have to debate verbally. They have to defend their ideas. They have to defend their opinions, their stances verbally. That's why they take place in verbal debates. But yet you claim to be a presidential nominee, but you can't even debate your ideas verbally. So that just, I mean, that's just another reason why we, we don't take your presidential campaign seriously. We didn't take it seriously in the first place, of course, but that just adds more, more salt, whatever. So, I don't know, I just, you know, to anyone who was hoping to see, like, an actual debate, I apologize. I, I think most people know at this point how it went down, but, you know, again... I know I've got nothing to feel sorry for. I know Atticus was telling me that I've got nothing to feel sorry for, and I know I don't, but I, again, I just, I, you know, I'm sorry that everyone's time got wasted. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm pissed that my fucking time got wasted for reasons I just explained, because I don't want to repeat myself here, but basically, just to sum this all up, Stetson, you're pathetic. You're a spineless, pathetic coward. And you're a piece of shit on top of that. I mean, we already knew you were a piece of shit, but you know what? Going after Jennifer's family like you did, sending her, her sending her mom messages who was sick in the hospital, that's an all-new low, even for you. Like, I, like I've been saying, it is very easy for you to sit behind a keyboard or a phone or whatever, behind a screen, and, and, and make all these fucking claims and try to say that you know, Jennifer's trauma or Gage's trauma doesn't exist. It's very easy to say that behind a fucking screen when there's no actual physical immediate ramifications for what you're saying. Because I doubt you would say any of this to Gage's face or Jennifer's face. Or anyone else's for that matter. Because you know that if you pushed hard enough, you would get beaten to a fucking pulp. Which would be exactly what you deserve, Stetson. And it, it, quite frankly, I'm, I'm really fucking sick and tired of wasting so much fucking time and energy on you. Like, I think it's really start, like, after this, I think it's really starting to fucking eat at me. Like, I just, I just, I can't do much of this with you anymore. So, if you want to spam my fucking comments, because I know you, I know you will, I know you'll come to my comments, you'll tell me to quit getting a, a Quit being a conservative, get an education that this video is full of fake news and bullshit. Fill it with your usual rhetoric. Go go the fuck ahead. I don't give a shit. Go ahead and do it. It's not going to fucking change anything. It's not going to change that you're a yellow belly spineless coward anyways. And we all know it. And you know it deep down in the cockles of your fucking black, demented heart. You know it. So, yeah. I mean, just to sum it all up, just basically, fuck you, Stetson. You know, go fucking lay down in traffic, go get friendly with the, with, with the underside of a bus, you know, just go jump in a pit of rattlesnakes, do whatever, just, just fuck off, just slit your wrists already in a bathtub, just do it. Have a good day, folks.